A good morrow, church kids. We are so glad you decided to join us back in medieval times. <laughs> A good morrow, church kids. We are so glad you decided to join us back in medieval times. Yes, quite happy about it. You are uh, really not the best at talking like you live in medieval, medieval times, you know? Okay, well, anyway, today we're going to talk more about the armor of God, and it's going to be so good, and it's even better because it's Pajama Day! <laughs> I, I like mine. your pajama. This is my pajama jacket, you know? Great. Don't judge this it. This is my pajama shirt. I wear this to bed. It is warm and soft, like the snow. Yeah, but Which, do you wear it when you sleep? If I'm taking no. a, if I'm taking if a nap. If you're sleeping in the snow. <laughs> it, yeah, see? Because I sleep in an igloo. <laughs> okay. Outside. Well, anyways, if you guys remember last week, Tracy and I learned all about the Helmet of Salvation, and I wonder what we are going to be learning about today. Well, I can tell you one thing, Charles. You're going to need some balloons. Balloons? Well, guess what? I happen to have some right here. Woohoo! Well, whose birthday is it? Why do we have balloons? Um, it's no one's birthday. We just need them for our friendly medieval competition. Yeah. Cue the theme song. Yeah, I still don't think that's a thing. We need balloons. Okay. We need toothpicks. I have those. I have toothpicks right here. We need uh, tape, markers, oh. and construction paper. paper. Oh, here are my markers. Oh, perfect. I can't pick them up. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. So what are we doing this with all this? This is a beautiful pack of markers. How many are there? I don't know. But 50. So it literally says in the front. I love how they're all in like Wait. order. They're 50 washable markers. Perfect. So or as some people say, washable markers. Nobody says that. They do. They do not. Old people, I'm telling you, after they get 50 <laughs> years old, they start saying whale and wash. So what you have to do is first. Okay. That's some strength. Pick your balloon color. I'm picking blue. Orange. Okay. Blow it up. Blow up that balloon. Use your lungs. Push with your stomach. You got it. It's almost there. Oh my gosh, I seriously can't, and I'm gonna pass out. Seeing stars. <laughs> am, I, am I tying it? Yep, there it is. Yay! Church kids, give it up for Tracy. He's blowing up the balloon. Oh my word. <laughs> wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. is we need to make shields for our balloons because we have mighty swords that we're gonna try and pop each other's balloons with and uh, you don't want yours to pop, obviously, so you need to make a shield. Of course I don't know what you But you have to use the markers and make it decorative as well. Creativity I, wait, counts, wait, people. Wait a second, you want me to draw a face on my balloon? No, so you don't that have to, you can draw on your shield that you make. I thought you wanted me to put a face on it so that I it, like had more of an attachment to it so that if you popped it, I would like be you really can, sad. You can, but they're washable markers and washable. probably just come right off the balloon. Washable so. marker, true. Okay. All right. So I'm making a shield out of paper? Yes. Oh. And then we're going to use our mighty swords to pop them. Let's take a look at our mighty swords. Da, 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 da. I'm stretching it out. I don't want to pop. Tie it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Got a little, got a little, little air out. <laughs> what was that? You've been getting a fast jab. I'm scared. Go. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, I think that's what you don't want to happen. I thought you were about to poke again. <laughs> I'm like, it's gone. <laughs> is an example of what you do not want what? to happen to your balloon, Charles. Okay, we're beginning. Here we go! Three, Honestly, two, one, go! Like... And, 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 then, and then you attack the shield. And then you have to close your eyes and poke the person. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Pray for me, church kids. This might be my last day on the show. Lest I leave here without a hand! <laughs> 
from one of these swords. <laughs> oh! No, you can just like hold it out like this. And then I need to uh, wear a glove or something. Or, or how about we spin it no, and then the person we're, tries to We're poke testing it. the shield though, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're not gonna like poke the head. You're well, I don't know, I'm trying to figure that part out. <laughs> Let's just make our shields. And so we're gonna really out. poke at this thing, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. I'm glad we didn't fill these up with helium. Otherwise, this, actually, that would have been fun. My balloon loves me. Look at it. It would have just floated away. Look at it, we've already attached. He won't like, he won't go away from me. Sorcery. Watch. Should I have orange covering orange? Um, the answer is yes. Mmm. I'm putting nine minutes. Less of a shield and more of like an entire wall. You can't do that. I Wait. literally said you can't do that. A good choice. Great. For I have no need for three minutes for luxuries and pleasantries of the. The first district. Nice is a, nice is subjective. What I think is nice Nothing might not be nice different. to you, and the other way around. Okay, let's see if I can get this guy to stay. Yeah. Defensive and off it. It's like a beak. <laughs> this kind of looks like a robin. <laughs> that uh, it was intentional. It was a robin shield. All right. You know what, who this kind of looks like? This looks like Gunter from Adventure Time. <laughs> yes, kind of. Correct. Gunter. Okay, church kids. Before we wield our mighty swords. Yeah. And begin our battle. It's not Star Wars. This is medieval times. They didn't have. Oh yeah. Lightsabers. Before we get into it, we are gonna check out your game that you're gonna play right now. So here we go. Woo! Uh, I don't feel good. Side church kids, it's me, TJ Jeremiah. Back with another game time. Are you ready to play? All right, I like to call this game the Tissue Box Challenge. And this game is super easy. All you're gonna need is one box of tissues. It's gonna be you in a head-to-head -head race against your opponent. The rules of the game are so simple. All you have to do is use only one hand to pull out every single tissue piece by piece. Whoever does that first, wins the race. Okay, racers, are you ready? On your marks, get set, go! The game begins in three, two, one. Thank <laughs> you. 
armor up. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take a stand against the enemy's plans. What? Put on the full armor of God so that you can take a stand against the enemy's plans again. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take a stand against the enemy's plans. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take a stand against the enemy's plans. Stand firm with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. Breastplate of righteousness Guard your heart, make sure it's in place uh. Feet fitted with the gospel of peace Stay in God's word, no, I ain't never crease Shield of faith strapped right to my forearm The enemy's barrages, no, they can't do me no harm The word disarms, a rival raises alarms I fall below, lost the toll, trying to pull strings Made a weak yarn, I'm on a tall barn Eating lucky charms, looking down as you depart Jesus has my heart of hearts We're not done yet, now there's still more The devil gets nervous every time your feet hit the floor The next piece of armor is called the sword Get ready, armor up, cause we're going to war Helmet of salvation, sword of the spirit I'm talking God's word and I hope you can hear it Tighten the straps on your armor from heaven As we go back and shout Ephesians 6, 11, yeah Put on the full armor of God So that you can take a stand against the enemy's plans What? Put on the full armor of God So that you can take a stand against the enemy's plans Put on the full armor of God So that you can take a stand against the enemy's plans What? Put on the full armor of God so that you can take a stand against the enemy's plans. All right, church kids, let the battles begin! Actually, I think I would like to attach my poker be pokerson to the end of this little beak. Yeah! Okay. Looks cool. I'll put his sword on him. Ha ha! Double edged sword! Two, why do you get two? Yeah, is there two swords? <laughs> two swords! In three, ready? We're just gonna smack them. Yours isn't even gonna make it to mine. Two! <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Wait, let's do it anyways. Three, two, one. <laughs> so yours didn't even make it. <laughs> you lost to both of your swords. Ha ha! Who's victorious now? Mr. Beak no! Beakerson. No! Keep it over there. He's Beak still Beakerson. On. He's From still the back. On. He just, no! It's cheating. Is it's it though? You turned around. A knight, ah! a knight never turns around the other way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Impenetrable fortress of... That beak. Oh no! No! Gregory! Gregory's beak. Sir Bubblegum is clearly winning. You can't fix him in the field of battle. Yes, you oh, wait, I, I'm, a, I'm a medic. Yeah, you reattached your... <laughs> Sword. Medic! <laughs> You're gonna get the medic class over here. Call um, in the medic! Dude, that beak made. You didn't even get to my shield. That was amazing. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Gregory. Ah! <laughs> Greg! Greg! Why are you so violent? Am I ever gonna get a turn? <laughs> Do that first. Okay. It's not gonna go through my shield. Will it? Gray! We have horrible warriors! Hold on. They do Look a at, terrible oh, job. He happened to have a second one. <laughs> I have a better Cheat idea. all you wish. I have a better it's idea. It's not going to work. Go! Oh yes! <laughs> <laughs> the Black Knight always try it. Wait, Gregory, where are you? <laughs> Greg! <laughs> yes! Greg wielding Excalibur, though his beak may be gone, his sword is strong. <gasps> that rhymed. Uh, Sir Bubblegum, in goodbye. The arms. <laughs> in the arms. Look, you can see of... his little face still. May he rest in pieces. <laughs> Even as you perish, I will knight thee, <laughs> Sir Bubblegum. <laughs> uh, Charles, I didn't expect you to have an actual sword. Of course I do. I'm a knight. Right. Anyway, church kids, like we heard in the memory verse, part of the armor of God is the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. Yeah. These are two very important parts of our spiritual armor. We have the Holy Spirit to protect us and our faith in Jesus helps protect us against the enemy. The Lord will never leave us even when times are hard. All we need is our shield of faith. Woo! That's awesome. 
Let's take a look at today's lesson and see what else we can learn about the armor of God. Hi, I'm Natasha. And I'm Nelly. And we're so glad you're with us today. We are learning about something really amazing today. Oh yeah? What is it? The armor of God. Whoa, that does sound amazing. What is that? The armor of God is what God gives us to protect us from our enemy. Wow, what does it look like? Well, we can't actually see the armor of God, oh. but we can still put it on in some amazing ways. That's oh. what we are going to learn about today. Wow, I can't wait. Well, then let's start by singing a song to God. I like that idea. Hey friends, sing along with us. Let's all stand up and sing a song to God. Yeah. Let's sing the armor of God and sing about the armor that God gives us to help us defeat our enemy. We're going to start by singing the belt of truth. Let's sing it out. The belt of truth to help live out the word of God. Breastplate of righteousness when I choose right from wrong. Shoes of peace when I need confidence. These are the tools that God gave me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She That again. These are the tools that God gave to me. Be strong in the Lord. It is my power. It is my power. Stand firm. Stand firm. Great singing and dancing. Uh -huh. You can all sit down now. That was so fun. I love singing to God. I was wondering if we could learn some more about the armor of God. We sure can. You know what? I actually have something really cool to show you guys. Ooh, what is it? Well, Winston has been working on this cartoon Ooh. called the Super Scuppets, and I want to show it to you. Wow, the Super Scuppets. Oh boy, I love the Super Scuppets. Me too. So let's go ahead and meet up with Winston and see what happens in the Super Scuppets today. Yay! On a cold day. Han was working in his lab when it... Hmm, oh, I got it! When it exploded and gave everyone super powers! Thus, the formation of the Super Scuppets, a group of heroes who are committed to fighting for truth, hope, and the Scuppetin way! These are the adventures of the Super Scuppets! The Super Scuppet saved Scuppetin many times from the Dark Scuppet. But this time they decided not to wait until the next attack. Han made a piece of armor for each of the Super Scuppets. And today they would go out together and face the Dark Scuppet. There's one more thing. Winston, I want you to have it. Whoa! Are you sure I should have it, Han? Yes. Everything else we have keeps us protected, but this will give you the power to defeat the Dark Scuppet. Let's go! <laughs> 
Super Scuppets! I thought you said this is where the Dark Scuppet would be. Yes, he is supposed to be here. I tracked him here. Shh. Boom, boom, boom! That's an elephant! Um, that's not an elephant, Commander Jellybean. Then what is it? Well, hello, Super Scuppets. Congratulations, you found me. We are here to defeat you, Dark Scuppet! Super Scuppets, let's go! What? No! Impossible. He made armor just like mine. Yes, I did. But better. Thanks for the idea, Professor Orange. <laughs> Gummy Bear Tornado! Oh, not these again! <laughs> it's a tickle ray again! <laughs> I can't move! <laughs> He's too strong! And he has all the armor! And we just have pieces! Yeah, one piece each isn't cutting it. Wait, that's it! What is it? You stay here. After swim! You guys stay here. I'll be back. Crimson Wonder can do this! What are you doing? You're not gonna make it without any armor! They're safe. But now it's up to you, Crimson Wonder. You have to put on all the armor and face the Dark Scuppet. Me? Why me? You're strong, Crimson Wonder. You can do this! <laughs> Where are your friends, Crimson Wonder? Safe from you! And you think you can defeat me? Yes, I do! What makes you think that? Because I know the truth! I am strong, and this armor makes me stronger! I can defeat you, Dark Scumpet, because good always wins! You keep saying that, Crimson Wonder. We will see who wins today. What are you gonna do now, Crimson Wonder? Get rid of me forever? No, Dark Scuffin! I'm gonna do the right thing! You are under arrest again for being a big meanie! And trying to get rid of the Super Scuffins and ruin Scuffinson! You did it! Nice work, Crimson Wonder. You want some Scuffin bars? Don't mind if I do! And so the Super Scuffins defeated the Dark Scuffin again and saved Scuffinson from his meanie plan! The city was kept safe thanks to Han's new special armor and the strength of its hero, Professor Orange! Hector Swift! The Electric Canary! Commander Jellybean! And the Crimson Wonder! Aha! We are the Super Scuffin! Oh wow! Oh wow! That was so cool! I think if I had a superpower, I would want to talk to animals! Oh, that's very cool. What would you want to do? I would want to be able to fly like Winston. Ooh, that would be fun too. I want to be strong like the Super Scuppets! You know you can be. How? I don't have a superpower. You don't need a superpower to be strong and courageous. God can make you strong. Really? Yeah, you know our Bible verse today is 1 Corinthians 16, 13, and it Ooh. says, Be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Wow, I want to be all those things. You can with God's help. Now let's sing 1 Corinthians 16, 13 so we can remember those things. Yeah, let's all stand up. And sing our Bible verse. Let's sing 1 Corinthians 16, 13. We're gonna start out singing some woes, okay? So I wanna hear you guys sing it out. Let's go.
last time really loud. First Corinthians 16, 13. Let me hear those woes. What was your favorite part? I think my favorite part was where you put on all the armor and faced the dark scuppet. Oh yeah, that was my favorite part too. And the sword, I really liked the sword. Oh, that was fun too. You know, that sword reminded me of the last piece of armor in God's armor. Wait, are you saying that God gives us a sword? Well, remember we can't see it, but yes, God gives us the sword of the spirit. What is it? The sword of the spirit is the word of God. Do you know what book is the Word of God? The Bible! That's right, and we can use the Sword of the Spirit when we read the Bible or when someone else reads it to us and we take time to think about the words. Oh, and there's one more way we can use the Sword of the Spirit. What is it? We can use the Sword of the Spirit when we memorize Bible verses. Oh, I do that! I learn fun songs with Bible verses and it helps me! Well, that's great, Winston. Well, I had a great time sitting with you and talking about the Super Scuppets. So did I, Pastor Steve, and I learned so much about the armor of God. Now, just like in Super Scuppets, we need to put on every piece of the armor of God. Hear ye, hear ye, church kids. It is I, Sir Arthur Stub the Toe, and we are talking about the armor of God. Today, I want to focus on the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit. Our faith in Jesus is our shield. He will never leave us and always protects us. Our sword of the spirit is our Bible, and we use it to strike back at the enemy with God's word. Okay, well that's all the time we have for this week, church kids. Don't forget to always suit up with the armor of God, and never forget your shield of faith and your sword of the spirit. See you next week. Well, church kids, it has been another successful day in the church kids' kingdom. Get it? Because it's medieval. Indeed. Anyway. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> it has been a jolly good time spending the day with you all today. Uh, Tracy, jolly good time is not medieval language, okay? Okay, whatever. Anyway, it's been fun, church kids, and we will see you next week. But don't forget, it's a great day. To be a church kid! Oh! 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 Oh!